Hi guys, this is Mike and I am shocked. With two eyes. Okay, so let me start from the beginning. If you know my channel, you've seen that I was searching for a successor to my old Fender Deluxe Lone Star Strat for a very long time. I kind of fell out of love with it and wanted something new. And so I tried. Two different Fender player strats, two American performers, two American professionals and two different Fender American Ultras. But I sent them all back for one reason or another. Either the sound wasn't great or the playability wasn't there or the neck was too thick or the color wasn't as cool as on the pictures. And then one day I decided to give the Fender Player Series Strat another chance. I thought, well, it looks cool, I like the color and it's not that expensive. And I thought, well, maybe I can live with the sharp fret edges, maybe I can live with the sound or maybe I can change the pickups and maybe I can get used to the maple neck because personally I'm more of a rosewood guy. So yeah, my thinking definitely was, it's a compromise, it's not my dream guitar, but maybe I can live with it. So I was online and I put the player series in the shopping cart and suddenly one of those recommendations popped up. You know, something like, you might be also interested in this, right? One of those things. And it was the Fender Squire Classic Vibe 60s. And I thought, hey, cool, it's a blue guitar, it's a blue Strat, you know, I like blue guitars and blue instruments, and it has a dark neck. It's not rosewood, but it's still dark. And it was only 400 bucks. And so I just ordered it. It was a total impulse buy just because of the color. I thought, well, in the worst case scenario, I'm just going to make a quick shootout and send it back, right? But then it came and I opened the box and that was like the first surprise. So take a look at the pictures from the Fender website. And now the actual guitar. This is like 90% of the same color as the Fender Player Series Strat, even if they call it differently. I mean, look at that. Could you tell the difference? Two Player Series Strat and here is the Squire. So as you can see, it's a little bit darker and I guess a little bit more green, but still a very cool color. Second of all, the string action is ridiculously low and almost without any fret noise. I mean, even on $2,000 guitars, I have not experienced such great string action. So that is almost unbelievable. The finish is beautiful and there are no scratches or errors on my exemplar. Then the volume control, the tone control and the pickup selector switch feel more robust. And I kid you not, they feel more robust than on my $2,500 Gibson. I mean, this is madness. But to be completely fair, there are downsides as well. So one thing I immediately noticed, and I guess that is the price to pay for the low string action, is the tremolo. I checked it and they have three super strong strings in the back and it almost feels and looks like a fixed tremolo. I screwed in the tremolo arm and I actually bent it because the tremolo is that strong. So if you use the tremolo a lot, this is not the guitar for you or you have to upgrade the whole tremolo system. Second of all, the neck is lacking the skunk stripe, which I can live with, but it's also really, really heavily lacquered. But even that is fixable with a little bit of sandpaper. Another thing I noticed, the Indian laurel fingerboard on the neck was really, really dirty. There was like a thick layer of dust or something. So I had to clean it with lemon oil and restring it. But now it looks good. Also, another thing I don't like, this guitar has Fender vintage tuners, which, while period correct, are really annoying. I don't like this whole system with sticking the string up on top and then rewinding it, so I would definitely change the tuning heads. Okay, so the first impressions are really great, it's a beautiful instrument. I mean, there is a little devil on my shoulder sitting telling me, yeah, but it's just a Fender Squire but I'm really trying to be as objective as possible. And the first impression is great. All the important parts are there and solid. So that's great. The fret edges are really nicely rounded and the whole neck feels great. Much better than on the Fender Player series. And I almost forgot to say, this thing has great vibrancy and sustain, even more so than the Fender American Ultra I tested a couple of weeks ago. And I just read online, this thing has a bone nut. What the is going on here? What the f is going on? 
Okay, so the Fender Player Series, on the other hand, the color is still beautiful, but you know, this is my second exemplar, actually it's my third one, and it still has sharp fret edges, so I guess that's just how it is on these guitars. It has a maple neck, it has a plastic nut, it has controls that don't feel as sturdy as on the Squire, but you get the Fender logo on the headstock, so I guess there's that. Okay, so now let's listen to some samples of these guitars and we'll talk about my opinion later. See you! Okay guys, let's make this simple. If you look at my video history, you will see that in my search for a follow-up to my old Fender, I tried them all, right? I had professional strats here, ultra strats, player strats, uh, performer strats, you know, you name it. I had it, I played it, and I sent them all back, you know, because I was never totally satisfied for one reason or another. And I was willing to spend $2,000 on a great strat that looked good, played good, you know, had great playability, had vibrancy, had sustain, great sound, but I didn't find that. And so I'm quite shocked to say that my search is over. 
This Is It, a $400 made in China Fender Squire Strat that has no right to be as good as it is, but for some reason it is. I mean this is awesome and frightening and shocking and just so cool. And I know, the sound isn't that great, but you know what? For that price, I'm so willing to invest in even higher priced pickups and better tuners and a better tremolo system, because the foundation of the guitar is totally worth it. This is not a case of, this guitar is great for the money. No, this guitar is great, period. It's literally 95% of where my dream strat should be. It's just missing like 5 small percent to make it perfecter, more perfect even more perfect. So if you are in the market for a new Strat, definitely try out the Squire Classic Vibe 60s. Chances are you will love it. In my opinion it's better than the Fender Player series. And I'm not alone. Check out the great reviews this thing gets all over the web. Ok guys, so there you have it, that's my conclusion. Really fell in love with this guitar. I hope you liked the video, please subscribe if you haven't already. Stay safe, stay home, see you next time. Bye.